Welcome to decomposition. In this lesson I'm learning a standard method for doing subtraction problems on paper when the numbers are too difficult to do in my head. Uh, let's start with this question here. Um, a paper boy has got 341 papers to deliver. He has delivered 190, sorry, 189 of those and I want to work out how many more he's got left to deliver. First of all, let's just think about how both of these numbers are made up. 341 is made up of 300, plus 40, plus 1, and 189 is made up of 100, plus 80, plus 9. Now let's set this out using a standard written form. I put uh, down what, uh, what I've got, which was the 341 newspapers, and I take away the amount that I've already delivered, which was 189, and just like last time, I underline that. So subtraction sign over here so that I know it's not addition like we did in the last lesson, and you can see just like with addition, I've been really careful to put um, all my ones together, all my tens were well, one on top of each other, and my hundreds one on top of each other. And in the uh, addition lesson, we put in little dotted lines down here, and little dotted lines down here, just to remember that these are the ones, these are the tens, and these are the hundreds. Now let's start with the ones column here. Now remember this top line here is what I have and this bottom line here is what I must subtract. So I have 1 and I need to take away 9. Now obviously I can't do that, if I've got 1 I can't take away 9, so that means I'm going to have to go to the tens column here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of these tens and break it up. So instead of leaving 4 tens here, there's only going to be 3. And I'm going to take the 10 and I'm going to add it to the ones column. Now we know that 10 plus 1 equals 11. So all I need to do is write this little one there which represents the 10 and I can read that number as 11. So now I can take my 9 away. 11 minus 9. The answer to that is 2 so I write 2 in here and now I'm off to the tens column. Now the 3 tens are what I have and I need to take away 8. So you can see I can't take away 8 from 3 so I'm going to have to go to my hundreds column. And just like I did with the tens, I'm going to take one of the hundreds which would leave me just with two left, and I'm going to move it into the tens column. Now we know that 100 is the same as 10 tens. And you can see over here I've already got three tens, so if I have three tens and I add the ten more tens that I've got from the hundreds column, that's going to give me 13. And I record that up here by just adding a one, and now I can read this number as 13. Of course, because this is the tens column, we actually know that that's 13 tens. Anyway, I've got 13 tens, now I can take away my 8 tens, that's going to leave me with 5, and now I'm onto the hundreds column. I've got two hundreds, I need to take away 100, well, that'll just leave me with 100. So, the answer to 341 minus 190 sorry, minus 189 is 152. Let's try another one. Uh, 351 people um, go to watch a game of rugby. Um, it's a bit boring, so 108 of them leave at half time. I want to work out how many people are left. So let's go straight away and set that out in standard uh, written form. We've got my 351, which is what I have and I need to take away the 108 because they're the people who are leaving. Just like before, all my ones are together, all my tens are together, and all my hundreds are together. Now you can see I can't take 8 away from 1, so I'm going to have to go to the tens column. And I'm going to leave 4 tens there, and I'm going to move that other 10 over to here. 10 plus 1 gives me 11 and I represented that 10 just by putting that 1 there. So 11 minus 8 is 3, write that in the 1's column, and now I'm back off to the 10's.
I have four. I have to take away nothing. That's going to leave me with four. Onto the hundreds column. I have three. I need to take away one. That's going to leave me with two. Now let's try another one. 307 uh, minus uh, 98. So we could imagine uh, the school had uh, 307 chocolate bars sell, so that's what they uh, have, and they've sold 98. We want to work out how many are left. And just like last time, we've got our ones, we've got our tens, and we've got our hundreds. So my first question is, if I have seven, can I take away eight? Well, you know that I can't do that, so I'll go to the tens column. But you can see that the tens column has got nothing in it. So I'm going to have to go a little bit further this time. This time I'm going to go to my hundreds column. I'm going to break up one of those hundreds, which will leave me just with two hundreds in the hundreds column. And that 100 that I've raided from the hundreds column, we know that that is the same as 10 tens. So I'm going to move 10 tens into this column. And the way I do that is just by putting the 1 there so I can read that number as 10. And it's in the tens column, so I know it's 10 tens. Now at the moment you can see I still can't take away that 8 from that 7. So I'm going to have to do a bit more moving around. I'm going to take these 10 tens, and I'm going to leave uh, 9 of them there, and I'm going to take one of those uh, tens, and I'm going to split it into 10 ones. Now you know if I have 10 ones and I add 7 more ones, I'll have 17, so all I need to do is put this 1 here, which represents the 10, and I read that number now as 17. Now I can do 17 minus 8, that equals 9, and now I'm off to my tens column. We have 9, we've got rid of 9, well that'll leave nothing left. Over to the hundreds column, I've got 2, there's nothing down here to take away, so that must leave me with 2. Now you can see over here it was really important that I put that 0 in there, which means there was nothing in the tens column, because if I didn't have that, I might read the number as 29, and we know that that number really is 209. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful. For more lessons, check out teachertools.co.nz.